Three ways millennials differ from Generation Z. Which are you? A millennial or a Generation Z? You know what? For clarity's sake, let's start with a breakdown of the set of people that fall into each category. That way, we'll be able to answer the question, which generation are you? Baby boomers are people born from 1944 to 1964. Generation X are people born from 1965 to 1979. Generation Y, or millennials, are people born from 1980 to 1994. And Generation Z are people born from 1995 to 2015. Here's the thing. Generational breakdowns are not an exact science because it's not like two people in different generations, say a 28-year-old adult and a 46-year-old man, can completely understand each other. However, knowing the similarities and differences that exist between them will help you see the disparity in their perspective and their expectations from life in return. So, what differences lie between Millennials and Generation Z? In this video, I'll share with you three ways Millennials differ from Generation Z. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. Millennials are optimistic while Generation Z are realistic. According to the US Census Bureau, about 77% of Generation Z expect to work harder than those in the previous generation. Why? You see, Millennials were born and raised by their encouraging baby boomer parents, growing up in a time of prosperity and opportunity. As a result of the people that surrounded them, including their parents, they began to approach life from an optimistic point of view. Generation Z, on the other hand, is realistic thanks to their skeptical and straight-shooting Generation X parents and growing up in a recession, which was confirmed by Pew Charitable Trusts. According to the report, during the Great Recession, the median net worth of Generation Z's parents fell by nearly 45%. In essence, we are saying that millennials were raised during an economic boom, while Generation Z grew up during the recession. As a result of this difference, Generation Z is more focused on long-term value and smart investments. Number 2. Millennials are collaborative whereas Generation Z wants independence. Have you ever worked with some set of people that want to achieve success by themselves, without depending on others? These guys are the Generation Z guys. Again, according to the US Census Bureau, about 71% of Generation Z said they believed the phrase, if you want it done right, then do it yourself. The truth is that their desire for independence is in some way tied to their competitive spirit. Many of them prefer to have office space to themselves, rather than an open, collaborative workspace. Many also want to manage their projects so that their skills and abilities can shine through. They do not want to depend on other people to get their work done because they want to celebrate their independence, they use social media to find communities where they feel they belong. Here's a little illustration. When asked to arrange a group of desks, while millennials will most likely go for a collaborative style, arranging the desks in a circle to ensure a network, Generation Z will be more competitive with their colleagues and opt for a do-it-yourself mentality and arrangement. According to authors of Generation Z at Work, How the Next Generation is Transforming the Workspace, David Stillman and his son Jonah Stillman, 69% of Generation Z would rather have their workspace than share it with someone else. Parents of Generation Z likely taught them the importance of working hard 
and that no one will hand them their success. Hence, they are willing to work hard, but they expect to be rewarded for it in return. Number 3. Gen Z is more entrepreneurial Gen Z guys are taking control of their financial future from a young age, unlike millennials. Gen Z is 55% more likely to want to start a business than millennials. A full 72% of Gen Z high school students say they want to start a business. You see, growing up during the global financial crisis, Gen Z became mindful with their finance and they can't wait to join the entrepreneur lifestyle because unlike their millennial counterparts, they want to avoid living at home into their 20s. Also, as a result of this, they are willing to work hard, soak up as much knowledge as they can and take on many different challenges as they pursue their goal of starting their own company in the future. Number 4. Gen Z prefer to communicate face-to-face -face more than millennials Millennials pioneered many of the existing digital communication tools – talk instant messaging, texting, Slack, Skype, emails, etc. – for more efficient and effective workspace communication. So, they enjoy using these innovations and forms of communication better. Gen Z, on the other hand, prefers face-to-face -face conversations. About 74% of this generation prefer to communicate directly. It could probably be the negative attention they've seen millennials receive for their reliance on technology. So, why rely on these channels as a means of communication when you can do it face to face. Another reason is that growing up with specific tools like Skype and Snapchat has allowed people to communicate with a full range of sound and motion in place of just text. All these put together might be responsible for their desire for face to face conversation instead of the regular texting or the reliance on digital communication tools. So, there you go. I'm pretty sure you can now tell which of both generations you are – Millennials or Generation Z. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you!